Oh, what's up guys? Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a quick tip that allows you to save not only vertex selections, but also face selections. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in order to check this out, we're going to want to go over into the um, object data properties for your objects. And we've talked in the past about vertex groups, right? So if you tab into edit mode, you can select different groups of vertices in your vertex groups, click on the plus button, and then you can save those, right? So we would just call these top vertices. You would assign them, and then you can go back and you can reselect them. And then you can do things like referencing those in modifiers, other things like that. But um, there's a lesser known tool down below that also gives us the ability to do this with faces. This is called face maps. And so if you scroll down, you can see that right here. Now face maps is gonna work basically the same way that the vertex groups works, right? So let's say that I was to come in here and select some faces. So say I've got some windows in here like this. What I can do is I can take these four windows, I can click the plus button right here, and I can call this windows, and I can click on the option to assign these windows like this. Well now, if I click on the select button, it's gonna select those four windows. Now with these four windows, that's not really a huge time saver, right? Because you could just go in and click them. But where this gets really valuable is say that um, instead of just those windows, you also wanna pick up the mullions around the outside of these windows, right? So basically these pieces that are around here, going back in and reselecting those can be kind of frustrating, right? Because you come in here and you've got to pick up every single one of them like this and then deselect your windows, that kind of thing, so that you get them, right? Now I've got everything selected, but at the same time, if I was to accidentally click off of here or if I wanted to reselect them, I'd have to do that all over again. However, with face maps, you don't have to do that. So I can take these mullions, right, like this. I can select them. And I can add a mullions face map and I can assign it. So now I've got face maps for my windows and for my mullions right here. So now I can select those really quickly. So not only is that useful for things like selecting faces, it's also useful if you want to do things like hiding the rest of your faces. So for example, if I was to come in here and I was to deselect my windows, deselect my mullions, then I could tap the H key and I would only have this geometry in here like this. So I could use this in order to hide and unhide geometry so that I only get the geometry in here that I need. And so then let's say I wanted to extrude these faces or something like that. Well, now that this wall is out of the way, so I'm gonna move Bonnie out of the way. I'm gonna tab into edit mode, then I'm gonna select these surfaces. So I'm just gonna go into wireframe and select these front faces like this. Now I can extrude them forward like this. Then we can just do an Alt H in here to unhide this. And so obviously for this simple example, right, this is pretty fast, but if you had like a hundred faces in here that you had to do this to or something like that, that could quickly turn into a massive time saver modeling in Blender. And then finally, remember that we added some faces in here. So if I select my mullions now, it's not gonna get them all, it's only gonna get some of them. So we would just come in here and just update this, right? So we would do a wireframe and then just reassign our mullions like this. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. I could see this being especially useful for a lot of different architectural applications, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.